Tori Hart. Tori Hart has so much heart, literally, and soul, <laughs> and I'm about to find out even more. I'm going to keep digging and digging and digging, so stick with us. I think that there's something historical about mm-hmm. the depth yeah. of of these churches. It's just a different, it's like, maybe it's like a salvation. It's like getting away from the, some of the pain. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here's a place where it's safe. Right. And I guess that's part of it. It's all theoretical because I've never been, I'm not really black. I mean. Right. You, know, you are. You got these pictures. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're not inviting me to the reunion. The look that you gave me when I said I was Ghanaian was, was not like, oh, he's one of me. No, it, does not, it did I, not I happen. I'm not even Ghanaian. <laughs> so. What are you, by the way? Do you know? You know, my sister did it and I, I should find, you know, it's bad that I don't know everything. Yeah. I know my my father's mother was half Filipino, so I know I have a little bit of that. Then my grandmother, my gra- great grandmother was Indian, um, and then I know there's. I'm sure I'm, I'm maybe Nigerian. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it's. I know it's not Guyanese. I don't think so, but maybe a little bit of Nigerian. Which, which or... of these cultures led to your poker playing? <laughs> <laughs> The beast that I am Listen, in the game of fo- poker. Folks, I took her to a <laughs> poker tournament. I just went there to have fun, goof around. When she, she it was like, it was almost like you were Thor and you put on a suit and you had a hammer <laughs> and you were going to take someone down like Thor. I could not believe you, ter- you turned into a different person. I love poker. You Not only you love it, you want to win. Yeah, I want to win it all. Y- yeah, and if you don't believe in the devil. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it comes out in you, the Jezebel spirit. Really? Oh my God! You will take someone down and have no thought about it. Oh man! I you didn't have know the look in your eye like a killer, <laughs> like an assassin, like you have no morals. No, you, you do not care about their feelings. I nothing. don't. It's, At the poker it, table, it's me or you, and it's going to be me. <laughs> I could not believe it. Took me out. Her new friend. <laughs> I like I, it. I didn't even look at me. <laughs> just, just go away, you peasant. Right. Wow, that was incredible. Yes, you really are quite the poker player. I got trophies. I know you do. Yeah, I, I have think, a lot of trophies. I think that night you came in third. You didn't get the I first. came in third. I was so mad. I, I know you were. Oh. You didn't even speak to me. I was so mad. <laughs> I didn't speak to you. Apparently, <laughs> you know, like you didn't even know me anymore. <laughs> I was just another one of your victories. Get away from me. You eye up their competition <laughs> like, like it's, it's literally like you're going to devour them. Well, that's what I'm in my head saying. I mean, wow. I, I really, I mean, it's and it's no hard feelings. It's the game. It's e- it's either me or the uh, the other person. Well, you're acting like you know you're like a, a jungle cat over here. <laughs> I am a jungle cat. Okay. <laughs> I am. If you're gonna identify with a cat, what cat would it be? Well, considering the fact that I'm a cougar, I would probably say a cougar. <laughs> For sure. well, you're like a literal cougar. I'm a literal literal cougar. Okay. I am. As long as you're not a saber toothed tiger. No, no. <laughs> That's when you only have two teeth left, and yeah. you're old. Right. <laughs> but anyway, so so how's the? Uh, I know you're touring these days with mm-hmm. one of my favorites, Cat Williams. Yes. Yes. Talk about. By the way, does he have any background as a preacher? Do you know? He kind of has a preacher he, he style to him. Yeah, he could be because Cat is. You know the way he his comedy is. He definitely is a teacher. Yeah. Uh, and he definitely you know is in touch with God for sure. Yeah. And so, you're opening for him. I am opening. He for has Kat. thousands of people, right? He yeah, well Saturday it was like eleven thousand people. Mm. Yeah, so I just did uh, Bojangles uh, Stadium with him in Charlotte, North Carolina on wow. this past Saturday. And then this upcoming week, I have Orlando and Tampa. Does he draw any white people? Yes. The, the, the don't, whole give me, front don't give me row. Don't give me that look. The whole front well, row. Well, that's his agents and his manager. No, <laughs> that was kidding. like some real white people. <laughs> real white people, real right white in the front people. row. Right in well, the front that makes row. it perfect for him. He probably plants them because he, he probably goes after <laughs> no, them. No, a lot of he white people love cats. They love no, Kat. I do. I think yeah. he's amazing. I yeah. just love him. He's one of my favorites, actually. Mm-hmm. So you, he, so just tell us how it works. He calls you and he goes, "Hey, come on tour with me." So I, a lot of people don't know. I've known Cat for twenty years. Uh-huh. First time I ever met Cat was in Philadelphia at the Laugh House. Before he, oh, Laugh House. Yeah, at the La- so actually I've known that's him old longer. School. Yeah, so it's on South even Street. Longer than twenty years. Yeah, that's twenty five years. Yeah, ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago, and um, you know I've always just 
kept the relationship. And he he comes there through town him when he was not Cat Williams. Yeah, when he, no, he was not Cat Williams. I think he was Kitten Wood. Yeah, he was <laughs> Kit Cat. <laughs> Little, little, little kitty, kitty <laughs> little kitty William. And were you married to Kevin at the time? You were married to Kevin Hart at one time. I was not married to Kevin at the time, but me and Kevin were in a relationship at the time. And then you developed into a marriage. Then we got married. Okay, yes. and yes. but you met. But did, where did you guys meet? Me and Kevin. Yeah. Uh, Community College of Philadelphia. And were either one of you wanting to be a stand-up at the time? At the time, we met neither one of us. No. No, neither one of. We were in a theater arts class. Always in the arts, though. Yeah, well, that's you close. know, yeah, but never it's, uh, comedy adjacent. But I got class clown <laughs> in high school, so I was <laughs> and he always didn't. he didn't. But I was crown class clown in high school, and at the time I was like, "Why y'all giving me this?" Like you know. But now looking back at it, like, oh, it makes sense. Okay, you know, my parents was like, "You everything else you can get, and you get class clown." Great, but I was always that person, always cracking jokes, pulling pranks on people. Yeah. Um, did you did you yeah. become a muse for him? Uh, like were you like an inspiration for oh, him? Oh, for sure. Co writing yes. and coming yes. up with helping him with bits and Definitely. stuff like that. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah, I we need, we had fun together. I need we, to find somebody like that. Yeah, we were cool, uh, you know, until we weren't. <laughs> 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 but I would say it was it was a beautiful ride. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. Yeah, well, yeah. and it was a ride too. And that's yeah. a bumpy ride at first. Anytime you're starting your career, especially in comedy, mm-hmm. people don't understand how difficult comedy is. Of all. <laughs> All of the, I was going to say sports. It is right. like a sport. Yeah. Of all of the arts. Yeah. It's probably, it's definitely the loneliest because you're alone. And he had the fortune, you had the fortune of having one another. Right. Most people don't have that. Right. Most people have like people that don't support it. They go, hey, what, yeah. are, you, what are you, a clown? Or, what? <laughs> That's what my family was wondering. <laughs> then, what are you doing, Tori? And for, and you know, he's also so little. And, you know, they were used to me. I usually would date guys like 6'4", or six, mm-hmm. you know, I was that girl. So, yeah. you know, they're like, That's not even your type. I'm like, He's funny. You know, so which is number one for a lot of people. Right. It does keep you together longer yeah. than most things to do is yeah. you must have a sense of humor. Every yeah. relationship you're going to last a long time, you better have a good you, sense of humor. I like to laugh. And see that's yeah. the and I like dark humor, I like light humor, I like church humor, I like crass humor. Yeah. I like all humor. So yeah. I like to laugh. Yeah, I do too. Well, I have a thing that we call chuckle chatter. I'm gonna okay. take you through it right now. Okay. Because I believe that laughter shifts consciousness, it mm-hmm. puts us into a beautiful state of being. Right. When you laugh, you're literally like pumping your blood as never before. You're yeah. pumping your lungs and you're engaging your skin. Everything is lightens up and mm-hmm. it becomes enlivened when you laugh. Right. So I have a thing called chuckle chatter where you don't need jokes. Okay. You just uh, will you do it with me. F- follow me as a first. You take a breath through your nose and let out a ha. Now ha is a spiritual word. Hallelujah. Right. Ha ha ha. I, I do it in yoga. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ha. So yeah. give me a uh, give me a ha. Do it along okay. with me through your nose. Ha! Well, you really, you must have something going on there. You let a ha. I love it. <laughs> it feels good to get that and out. Now, and now chuckle at the end of it. Ready? Okay. Ha! ha. <laughs> Isn't that so contagious, though? Yeah. It becomes a reflection of one another. Yeah. You're smiling at me, I smile at you back. And you're thinking about nothing. Right. That's what's amazing about laughter. You're just in this state of bliss. Right. And we need to go there more often. It will keep relationships together. Yeah. Once you stop laughing, then you don't have that vibration. Right. Ooh, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So so now we'll, we're going to increase the chuckle chatter. We'll just talk about what we did today, okay? Okay. While you're laughing, okay? I'll okay. start, and then you go after me. Here you okay. Go. <laughs> I walked the dog and <laughs> fed her. <laughs> And I, I, and she tries to to sniff too much, and I pull her. <laughs> See, nothing funny. Right, right. You just, you just go ahead. So tell me what you did while okay. you're laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> Good. I prayed. <laughs> I did a mile on the treadmill, <laughs> and then I went. I got my lashes done. <laughs> now breathe in, and <sighs> how do you feel? Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so underappreciated. So it, devalued. I do this every day, Craig. Thank you. I teach something called guided laughitation. Okay. If you meditate, pray, and meditate. You right. can laughitate. Okay. As a matter of fact, to me, it's easier to do because meditation. I have too many distracting thoughts. Okay. Like you do. You have to have right. a pen. Right. <laughs> You're like me. <laughs> I gotta write that down. You laughitate. You just. Uh, you don't have any structure. You're just released. You're fluid. You're in flow. 
Right, right. And I believe, that's why we have this podcast still standing up, because I believe that will help you stand up through anything. Right. If you can laugh about it. Any tragedy, even. I've laughed through tragedy. I've done laughitations through and said the worst things probably. How can you talk about something like right, that? Right, right. I have to. Right. I've had, I've been, you know, I had some really rough stuff going. I was kidnapped when I was a kid, and, you know, people go, how do you talk about something like that? You know, because if I didn't, then he would have the keys to my prison. Right. And he doesn't, right. the guy that did that, you know? Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't know these things about me or you. I mean, that's what we're trying to get in mm-hmm. depth in here. We try to do this on the podcast, or we do this on the podcast, where we release, you know, you're only as sick as your secrets. Right. And that laughing through it is a way to release it. And you're not being nuts. People are, how can you laugh at something like that? How can you not laugh at something like that? This is for your own recovery and your mm-hmm. own happiness and your own joy. Right. Why not shift into that? You're going to stay in misery all the time? Right. That's what people like that want for you, these power people that do things like that to you and victimize. No, we're not victims. Right. I get to be, have the power now. Well, I learned a lot there. That was fantastic. And I'm looking forward to hearing more from you, Tori, and uh, as we continue our interview here on Still Standing Up.